Well, well, well. Hello, folks. Hey, 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 hey. It's your boy. The host, the Wolf of Crypto here, man. Y'all are tuned in for the, uh, another episode of the Wolf of Crypto podcast here. And it's been a, it's been a minute, right? It's been a minute. But, um, trying to think where to start because of, uh, what's been really happening in the crypto space as of late. And I would say over the last course of the about year, year and a half or so, ever since the market really took a dookie and all these projects, exchanges, lawsuits, scams, people getting arrested. I mean, my goodness. The stories, there's a list of them. I got a list of projects myself that I could uh, go through and dive into each of one and be like, wow. You would look back when NFTs were, uh, what, a daily thing, daily talk. Fast forward to now, it's like, uh, for my... uh, Point of view, the NFT space is it's it's nasty. It's nasty. It's nasty. And a lot of it was uh scams, unfortunately. There's only a couple of uh projects that I'm actually still invested in and still continuing to invest in, which obviously is gonna be NBA top shot, NFL shot, uh or say NFL all day. And there's one more I got on my um, Solana that's doing surprisingly well um, because I was looking back the other day as, you know, I took a hiatus trying to figure out, wow, what else can your boy really talk about and cover? Because every time you turn around, it seems like something was getting shut down. Somebody's getting sued. Whole space is looking, looking a little shaky, looking a little fragile. I know a lot of people got out, done with it, which, you know, to each its own. It's not for everybody. For me, I kind of had to change my outlook, what I wanted to do. And uh, it's been going pretty well. Got the uh, Exodus wallet looking pretty nice. About to be doing a series on the whole staking adventure on that. And the journey on that one has been uh, very uh, lucrative so far, even though we are in uh, early stages here. But just seeing overall some of these huge topics obviously the ETFs I feel like that's obviously controlling the market a little bit but as far as most of the projects that I was invested in uh, I would say 90% of them all flunked unfortunate because I was uh, the other day looking at some old projects that I did invest in and just going through them obviously you know lost money because I was looking at this guy's uh, tweet the other day and it was like man looking back at the NFT market portfolio was you know obviously at this value now it's pretty much worthless and that wave that was uh, quite some wave um, every time you turn around it was NFT project this, NFT project that NFT this, NFT that and probably should have slowed down but when you're in the uh the old rabbit hole of the crypto space. It's kind of hard to, um, you know, pump the brakes sometimes because when you're on the roll and you feel like, ooh, I can get something out of it. it looks looks a little lucrative, you know, some sensitives. Looks nice. You're thinking, all right, got to hold it for a little bit. Flip it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Fortunately, that's not the case. And, Even with some of these projects, especially uh, one that I was really 
really looking forward to, even though this one um eventually, yep, this one flunk too. Crypto grow. Reason why I was one so unfortunate on that one is because, uh, like I said, I actually met some people behind that project. So it was just like, ah, to see it up close and personal and still flunk, it's like, ooh, we, ooh, we. Obviously, as far as trading goes, ha- haven't been doing too much of that. Been trying to figure out some ways to bring back my crypto hopper. Uh, Especially with the whole AI nowadays, trying to figure out some ways to configure some type of settings to get that bad boy working for me again. Because once upon a time, that thing, and you can even go to some of my uh, old YouTube videos. Those of you that have uh, been kind of following me on different social media platforms, and those of you that might be new, welcome. Um, so that's something I'm trying to figure out because, again, especially with times right now, market being so, so bobo, it's bobo, which is good, though. It's nasty, it's slow. Prices are still, you know, somewhat cheap. Bitcoin, I'm hoping, you know, still continues to be at some of these price ranges and actually continues to drop just because, again, feel like I'm pretty close on uh, getting one of those in my first full one, I should say. And it would be nice to get it at this price point. What can I say? Speaking of just investing overall, that's another thing that I've kind of uh, changed gears on. Investing into certain coins, just been kind of... uh, Holding a little bit of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos. Yeah, that's about it for right now. I got some BNB still. Probably going to convert that to Bitcoin. Um, But been just trying to get some chunks here. Obviously, using the good old staking programs here. And not just using the staking programs, but also trying to find a wallet where I can feel at ease and not have to worry about my crypto. Reason why I bring that up is because I remember Atomic, Atomic went down and uh, people got hacked on that. And I'm just like, man. So when it comes to finding, you know, wallets to store crypto, it's been another thing that's been a little bit of frustration, a little frustrating. I should say, but I got two cold wallets that I'm using, Exodus and uh, Olipio, and I think they have a new cold wallet that's about to drop, so you'll probably see me talking about that here in the near future. As far as NFTs go, again, that uh, way for me is sticking with Top Shot, which... Now it's got me a little bit more invested. Got over like 150 something moments now. Trying to get my uh, Top Shot collection nice and right here. Especially with all these new trades, new new moves happening before the NBA season starts here pretty soon. Because I feel like that's probably the only money that I'll probably put back into the NFT space. Because... Again, after the shambles that has happened and just some of the experiences I've had with some of these projects as well, firsthand. Like I said, in the moment you're like, ooh, it feels good. You think you're about to make some bread. And then in the reality, when you lose the money, you're like, ooh. And I don't know if it's just me or if it's some of you guys as well. Something about losing crypto just hits different compared to losing good old cash and fiat. But maybe that's just me. But the disappointment behind it, because you look back and you're like, oh, man, I had some chunk of change that I just. Not necessarily I didn't burn it slowly with a lighter, but. 
in the end, it still got burnt. And it's like, dang, man. Especially looking at current times right now, these prices, you're like, uh. Like even Litecoin, it's another coin I'm trying to slowly but surely build up the stack on that. I'm just trying to build my stacks right now. I think that's the main focus is build the stacks. Definitely use some of these uh, staking coins to my advantage because when it comes to staking Atom and being able to just go ahead and claim that daily and then from there kind of do what you need to do. If you want to convert it, swap it a Bitcoin. By all means, you can do that. You can use it somewhere else on the Cosmo ecosystem, obviously. Convert it to cash. Options are just endless a little bit there, don't you think? But don't get it twisted, though. I have a... Uh, don't get it twisted, though. I have enjoyed myself off the crypto in many different ways, especially when it comes to uh, traveling and being able to basically kind of not necessarily do what I want all the time, but be able to go and splurge on certain events here and there if you, if you catch my drift. But the goal is to be able to kind of do what I want on a daily. Not there yet. We are we're working towards it though. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. But as far as the traveling goes, yes, uh, it's been a while. Just because obviously when I was doing all that, I was doing that during the time when crypto was booming. Volatility was uh on the you know, more of the green side, so the red side. Volatility right now is just uh, stagnant, right? So that's another thing. That's why I'm like, you know what? Crypto's here to stay for me, at least. Obviously, I would like to get back to using my crypto.com card. But uh, after all the shakeups with different exchanges, not going to cap. I was a little nervous as far as like, man. I did that, uh, hit the uh, red mercy button and uh, get all funds out of different places and consolidate them to one place, if not two, where I have full control, self custody wallets. And uh, yeah, because I uh, just didn't know after seeing, you know, the fall of FTX, fall of Voyager, fall of Celsius. Um, who else got cooked? I mean, what? Binance US got cooked. It's not looking good for Binance, but it looks like Binance should be fine. But I mean, I don't know. You never know. I'm trying to think anybody else. I know KuCoin uh, kicked I think US, US citizens off the exchange. So it's another thing, man. Times have been getting harder and more rough for... Uh, us U.S. citizens to be able to operate and uh, partake in the crypto space. Always got to find a, a way because anytime you turn around, somebody's getting taken off the board. One piece here, one piece there. And the Voyager one, I was, I was glad I was able to get out of that situation early. Some, I know others weren't as lucky. Same thing goes with the FTX situation. Um, there was times where, like I said, I was able to just get my money out and was like, you know what? Let's let things settle down in the space before we just go back to kind of doing what we were uh, accustomed to doing comfortability level was at a uh you know somewhat uh somewhat high but then all of a sudden seeing everything in the news you know i guess you could say there was a little uh, fud but some of that fud was real 
And now I'm like, you know what? We're going to hone into certain things. Projects going forward, it's like I said, it's very tough to even really um, get excited about, you know, particularly new projects that might be somewhat good. Don't even get me started. Like I said, if you ask me about NFTs, this is going to be my reaction. Yeah, somebody asked me about NFTs. I'm just going to be like, hey, man, to be honest with you, look, 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 look. I'm probably going to say no at first, right? I'll try to look into the project and be like, you know, somewhat <sighs> non judgmental and maybe, maybe be open, right, to the idea. But nine out of 10, NFTs, like I said, if it's not top shot or something that I really, really can see myself putting money into it, it's going to be a no for me, all because of the experiences that I've had. NFTs right now, I'm just curious to see how they'll make a comeback because, again, I know that marketplace and that space alone was huge, probably still is huge. I don't know. The reason why I say it is because I'm not as down in the uh, rabbit hole like I used to be because, again, I was exhausted after what, everything was happening. So, yeah, that would be my take on NFTs, but as far as overall, again, it's been a minute, but we're going to be back. I'm going to be talking about, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll be doing a Exodus series here pretty soon. Um, be doing another series on Hobby Olympio and showing some of uh some of my experiences here that I've actually been able to partake thanks to good old crypto, especially when you invest at the right time and uh, those returns come back. <laughs> If not fivefold, tenfold, me, who we? Things I was able to do. And like I said, folks, this is all strictly off crypto at this time. All I was doing is using, you know, the crypto cards, because take that crypto, put them on the cards. Ooh, ooh. Speaking of other cards, uphold another program, got axed, slashed, done forth. It was just like, dang, man, it was like, had to take a step back and wait for the market and just the whole space to settle and figure out what the heck is going on. But that's going to really wrap it up for this episode here. Those of y'all that have been following, still listening to some episodes, appreciate y'all. Those that are new, welcome. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the show. Hope you enjoy what I got installed here for y'all in the uh, upcoming near episodes. We got what? We're about six, about six, seven months away from a big event. It's going to be a couple of topics I'm about to cover here, especially. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to, but I know y'all probably seen Big Boy get arrested and all that crazy stuff. That man's been on a wild run the last couple of months. Ever since, you know, Crypto's kind of been doing poo. I feel like he's been getting, he's been getting cooked out there. And this is a guy I actually met down in DecentralCon. But... I am your host, The Wolf of Crypto. This is The Wolf of Crypto Podcast. Y'all take it easy now. Peace.